Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to scale, rotate and move objects in Maya. Let's go straight to the point. When you open Maya for the first time and I have 2020 version here, you see this view perspective view. Now don't be scared when you see how dense everything is here, soon you're going to love them. Let's create a cube. Go to poly modeling and most of the time you're going to use poly modeling, they will become your best friends. And cube is here, let's click and voila, we created something already. There are three shortcuts that you should remember because they also will be your best friends. These are W, E and R. But if you don't want to remember them and you want to click from the toolbar menu, here they are. W is for move, R is for scale and not for the rotate and I wonder why they decided to complicate things. And E is for rotate. What they do, you might ask. Let's click W and C. First of all, we should select the object. And if it's not selected, you, you have to select it and then press W. Or go to Tool Menu and if Tool Menu isn't visible in your workspace, go to Windows, UI Elements and check Toolbox. So, this is not selected, I have to select it, press W on my keyboard and you see three arrows appear, green, blue and red. If you click red and drag the cube, it will be dragged along X axis. If we click blue, it will go along the Z axis. And if we click green, it will go up, which is called Y axis. How do I know this? If you look closely in the left corner next to M logo, you see it is pointed out here. Now press E on the keyboard and you're going to see a sphere looking lines. With it, we can rotate the cube the way we want it. And last one is R. If we press R, tiny cubes appear and it can help us scale this object. If we click yellow cube, which is in the middle, and drag it, you see that every size of it is being scaled properly. But if we click green one, we can scale this cube only one side with red. We can make it wide or not, or shrink it. And with blue, we can make it tall or short. Now, we also need to learn how to navigate in this view. If you want to zoom this scene, of course, you can do it with your middle mouse button. I mean, the wheel, like this. But more precise will be if we press Alt on the keyboard, and I think it's Command on Mac, and then click on the right mouse button, zoom in and zoom out. You have to drag the mouse left and right. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. If we click the cube and if it's not selected, select it and also press F on the keyboard, it will be focused on the object. And now zoom out. Uh, if we press Alt and left mouse button, we can move this scene, not the object. If we want to move the object, we have to select Move Tool or press W on the keyboard. And if we click Alt and the wheel on the mouse, we can move the scene. Look. Let's delete it. Press delete um, on your keyboard and see what other views we have here. If we press space on the keyboard, four views will appear. Top, front, side and perspective. If by accident you change one of the views, for example, let's go back to perspective view by pressing space again and let's click space for more than one second and this menu appears. It happened to me many times when I just wanted to switch views and I clicked on this space and didn't release it and then when I thought I changed the view I have clicked my right mouse button and accidentally clicked on other view, for example back view and my perspective was gone. I would have panicked, closed the Maya, opened it again, uh, and so on. But there is other way. You can repeat the same steps we did. Press space more than one second. And with right mouse button, choose perspective view. But also we can come here and click uh, on this button and everything will be back. 
Now, as you already saw, if you want to maximize any of this view, I have to select it. For example, if I select top view and press space, it will be maximized. And if I want to go back, I can press space again. But you can also maximize any of this view by just hover above with the mouse and then press space. You don't have to select them. For example, front view, I have not selected anything. Just press space and that's it. Side perspective and so on. Uh, let's open some scene now to understand what these views are showing. As you can see on, on in the top view, we can see everything from the top. This is my desk, uh, this floor and walls that aren't visible and the lights. Let's go to um, side view and we just see wall right now. But if I make this see through, Let's click it and click X-ray button here. You can see that there is my desk behind the wall. And from the front view, you can see everything what's in front of you. So these were first steps soon to know in Maya. And in the next lesson, we're going to do some extruding and other stuff. Thank you for watching and see you soon.